Hey everyone, in Drop Talk TV, this is Gil Cervantes coming to you live at the NAMM Show 2019. And right now I have the honor to be here with Dom Gagliano at the Amiria Symbols stand. And they have a lot of really neat stuff to show us today. So hey, thank you very much for your time, Dom. Hey, thanks for having me on Drum Talk today. So what do you have to show us? All right, so new this year, we actually have a, uh, a low volume series and we're aiming at calling it the Q series. So what it's gonna be is it's actually gonna be an option for pretty much all of our lines. As you can see here, there's small holes drilled throughout the symbol. Each hole is hand drilled and it makes it a low volume option. So, what we have found is that it actually makes it a very playable symbol. So if you want to listen. So it's very unique in the fact that a lot of the low volume symbols don't actually sound, you know, like 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 natural symbols, but this provides a low volume option and is also playable in a, an acoustic setting. Yeah, and it is really interesting but because it really does sound like, uh, you know, you're playing your regular cymbal and you're just turning it down like this. Exactly. So yeah, it, it is really awesome, man. Yeah, it's funny you mentioned that. We actually did a decibel meter and between a regular crash cymbal and then the low volume cymbal, it's about how, half the decibel level uh, less, which is very interesting. Yeah, and that's all due to the holes? Yeah, we're going to be able to do that to our whole line. So we're going to be able to drill, drill these holes in the whole line, make it a low volume option. So we'll call it the Q series. Oh, that's really neat. Yes, sir. And now in the middle here, we have another series. It's a mix between our, if you look here, it's our antique line, which is a grinding finish, and then our Thrace line, which is a fine lathing and a, and a brilliant finish. And it provides for a nice studio. Very brilliant, very warm, can really open up and project on the stage or in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So to, to, uh, to demonstrate here, uh, just uh, like I said, we can add the Q series to the whole line. This is our Comagene series, except with the holes drilled in it to make it the Q. I'm really I'm amazed about you know the the sweet sound that it has, but it's such a low volume. Absolutely, it's very very playable. You know? Yeah, I, I think a lot of parents are gonna be happy, you know, <laughs> yeah, because of this. Right? Yes, yes. We actually spoke to uh, the guys over at Aquarium. They have a low volume uh, drum head option now. We were talking about doing a little cross promotion. We'll see if that yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, if you if you already have the symbols and you have the practice, I mean, if you can. Uh, for us drummers, it's really hard sometimes, you know, to, to rehearsal. So I think it's going to, you know, help us to bring our game to the next level. Yes, absolutely. You know, you have a lot of guys who live in apartments, say, or live in, live in the basement of their parents' house, and it's too loud to play cymbals all the time. So a low volume option would be a really good, really good way to be able to make sure you can shed, you know. Okay, awesome. And what else do you have to show us? So we have another cymbal over here. It's kind of a staple in our lineup. It's our Stingray, our Dervish Stingray. So we introduced this about seven six or seven years ago, as you can see, it has a very unique shape. It's square, it's pretty thin. So that's been a very popular symbol for us uh, ever since we introduced it, you know, maybe five or six NAMs ago. And, uh, you know, it's very versatile. We've actually had guys who take that symbol on a gig with just a pair of hi-hats. And get away with it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and I don't know, it also, you know, this is something like you don't see every day. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And it and it's very playable, you know, you can actually use it, you know. Sometimes big effect symbols like that don't really have a, uh, a very, you know, practical application, but this, this symbol does. Awesome, yeah. So what else do you have? Uh, well, we also, for our Q series, the hats are very unique. They sound really great. Come on over and check them out. That kind of crispy sound, but neat. Yeah, very crispy, very clean, yeah. and they project very well for a low volume. 
And what I really love about this sound is that I really imagine like a, a rock drummer using it, but a jazz drummer as well, oh, yeah. and a blues uh, drummer as well, so it's pretty versatile, right? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So over here at Amadeus Symbols, we have a very vast line. You know, you can find us online at Amadeus Symbols USA on Facebook, at Amadeus Symbols USA on Instagram, and stay up to date because we're always posting and always releasing new products. Okay, well, thank you very much. So, folks, there you have it. Uh, the guys in Amadeus Symbols have been working really, really hard to make this awesome line. So you have to check them out in their social media, their pages. So thank you very much, Dan, for your time. I really thank appreciate you. it. See? So, guys, stay tuned because we're going to have a lot more interviews here at the NAMM Show 2019. Thank you very much. I'm Hill Cervantes from Drumcock TV. And stay tuned. See you later.